Well, here's the update on our chicken tractor. The chickens seem to be flourishing. They're doing well, which I guess is the ultimate test of any kind of chicken coop. And um, we've run into a couple of problems with the coop. And I'll show you what those are, and maybe you'll learn from our mistakes. The chicken wire and wood, recycled wood, worked fine. The, um, the recycled corrugated aluminum works great, very lightweight. Uh, because of the slope of the land, the water runs right off, usually. Uh, the wood, the nests, the roosts, everything has worked well. There's the feeders in there hanging from a board. Here's the nest. I'll show you how that works. Although I've already gathered the eggs today, so you don't get the fun of watching me pick up some eggs. But you can see that right there. They've been laying pretty well. I have a couple that are, I have a couple of hens that are um, molting. So they're not up to full production yet. Now I'll show you what the problems have been. The main problem with our chicken tractor has been the mobility. We tried putting lawnmower wheels on the coop and they did not attach well so we ended up using these small caster wheels and because of the softness of the soil those just sunk right in. So we had a problem with, uh, with the coop sinking into the ground and not wanting to roll. And so we put these boards under the wheels to roll them. And I, I joke with people, I tell them we move this chicken coop the way uh, Pharaoh's slaves moved the huge blocks of granite to build the pyramids. We just roll the wheel forward on one board until it pops down on the other board and then we pull out the first board and bring it around to the front and roll it onto that one. So it actually works well. The other problem with mobility is only one, uh, you can't move it with just one person. You can see the handles there, they're far enough apart and the coop is heavy enough that it requires two people to move. But if we get it rolling on those boards just right, it does real well. Let me show you what the chickens have done in one week. Now here's where the coop is now. And if you look carefully, you can see where the coop has been. We move it twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. And the chickens are really good at eating the ground bare. You can see the little patches where they've eaten the grass. They don't stay on it long enough to scratch it up and make it muddy or totally denude it, <clears throat> but they do nip the grass clean down to the ground and then we move them to a new location and they do real well that way. So far our chicken tractor's done real well. If we had it to do over again we would probably use larger wheels like the donuts you get as a, a replacement wheel on your car or maybe some bicycle wheels, but for a first try, it's not bad. 